Today's log comes to you from the closet. Wait, that's not what I meant. Well, I mean, the title card played, so I figured I'm stuck in here, might as well get comfortable, right? That's how the laws of logging work, by the way. If, if the title card plays and you haven't been doing it long enough, you haven't figured out how to do jump cuts effectively. And yeah, you're stuck. So huh. um, today I wanted to talk about literary devices and why they can be hard to use. They're not really literally literary devices, but more like tricks. That's not kind of a law, actually. More like tricks and stuff. And like, like trying to invoke a sensation in your reader or if, if you're, it's a movie in your viewer uh, that the characters are feeling. So um, I have something going on in my book right now where it should be a really interesting moment and a really cool, cool concept, like a really cool, interesting story, but it's being undercut by something else that is really, really not cool and really, really um, just, just horrible. And um, typically this thing that's really good um, is something that culturally we're like, oh my god, it's so awesome and sweet and beautiful and like this is a really cool thing. Um, actually, there's two of them in one scene. And, ow, foot cramp. Ow, god. Not sure what that was, but my foot just started hurting. But there's actually two of those moments in one very short scene. And um, both of them are undercut by the same thing. And um, I'm intentionally writing it to be very brief and it's really hard to talk about this without like getting into too much detail because I don't want to say everything on the vlog you know but uh it's it's like I'm trying to basically specifically write a scene that is ex that would normally in, in, a, in a normal story um be really cute and light and happy as quick and done and just not a good experience and it's really hard because like I want to be able to invoke the sense of like disconnect from the reader um but every time I try to do something like that, every time I try to do some literary trick to uh, invoke a reaction, I always worry that it's just on, on a 100% scale, it's not going to be understood. Like, if, like, half the people get it, that's that's fine. I mean, I'd rather they all get it. But, you know, like, if, if, like, if, a, if a significant size of people understand it, that's fine. But, like, because then you have a group that can explain it to the others if, if they want. Um, but, like, if no one gets it, it's like, mm, what if instead of looking, like, clever and, like, not that I want to call myself clever, you know, I'm not like, egotistical like that, but like, um, you know, it, it'd be like tr thinking, doing something that you really, that, that you, that took a lot of thought and having what you were going for, the desired effect, not be the effect you get at all. Everyone's like, well, he's just stupid. Like, why would he make this scene so short and fast paced and just done? Like, I, I don't want to come across as someone who is just a bad writer. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm a bad writer. That's not for me to decide. I like to think I'm pretty good, but you know, I'm, I'm, I also like to think that I suck most of the time. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm a very, I'm a very biased opinion on that one. But like every time I see movies do this, like there's a lot of movies where, uh, they'll have, uh, piercing H's. Um, they'll have like a scene where like they specifically use a certain camera effect and it invokes it. Like you're kind of like, it's hard to watch and it's uncomfortable. And that's really good, but then you also have a lot of movies that just get it completely wrong. Um, and it's it's always nerve-wracking to be behind one of those scenes, because like, like, if you're self-aware enough to be aware that you can get it wrong, um, and you're not just like convinced you're perfect, which I don't think anyone who truly is convinced they're perfect. Um, like, the idea that maybe you just, people won't get it, is terrifying. Um, I know this is going to be a singularly subjected uh, video. There's not a lot going on. I have a three-day weekend, and I this is my first day off, like my first day off in a while. So um, this is actually being recorded on Friday morning when I should be at work, but I had a three-day three weekend, so that was cool. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'll try and have more tomorrow, and I'm helping my parents move on Saturday, so I might have a vlog there. Or I'll, I'll either have an interesting vlog, or I'll just have nothing, because... Um, like, I'll, I'll either find some fun stuff to record as we're moving everything, or I just won't get anything, which, which is boring. Uh, I went ahead of a vlog up yesterday, but I was helping my friend um, get paperwork done for moving into an apartment. And then we kind of just went everywhere, and we went to, like, uh, arcade place and kind of had fun. And her and I haven't gotten to hang out very often, so it was kind of nice to get to do that. My throat's very dry right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> I probably sound like I'm dying. Just, yeah.
that was professional. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of tired right now, so if I seem kind of rambly and unfocused, it's just because like I, I want to have a vlog up. I'm, I felt bad about not having one yesterday, and um, you know, I've got a three day weekend. I figured I should have a little bit more content, and the opposite seemed to happen. I have less content on the three day weekend because I got stuff planned. Um, but I'll, I might have one recorded today that I'll upload tomorrow, and then I might record one Saturday that I'll upload Sunday. So we'll see. Um, I'm trying to get a schedule down, but my, I kind of like not having a schedule for the vlog. It makes it feel less obligated, but it also it also makes me want to do it as often as possible because I don't have a schedule. Which uh, I, I, if I if I don't have a quota, I just want to keep making. But if I if I don't have a minimum, then I might want to not do it at all. So I'm kind of trying to establish like a, like a two or three vlog a week minimum. Uh, I think I'm doing good at that so far. I don't know. You'll you'll have to let me know. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do you guys ever have, what kind of stuff do you struggle with? I know one of my things I also struggle with too is uh, narrator consistency. Um, if I have like a really, really dark moment with a really like snappy, judgmental character, um, I may not be able to pull myself back out of that dark moment and I'll just stay gloomy the entire story as well. So uh, it, it can be hard to pull yourself out of those little like ruts you fall into, which is, it's fine. You know, we all, we all have our mistakes. We all have our little catches and stuff. Um, but yeah. But yeah, what kind of stuff do you get stuck in? Um, I'm, I'm curious. Because, um, yeah, I like, I like to know. And I, I, if I sound, like, tired, it's because I kind of am, actually. I, I've, I've been up for a while. Whew, it's, been a, it's been a long day, but a good day. But, yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm probably going to go to bed because I'm really tired, like, out of nowhere. But I hope you guys have a cool Friday, and I hope you guys have a much more fun weekend than mine will be because I get to help my parents move. That's always fun. But, um, I'm, like, a kid. I, you know, I like my parents. I, I want to help them move. It's just, like... It's going to be my entire Saturday is helping them move. So that's fun. And I'm going to have to lose sleep to do it too, which is not fun at all. <sighs> all right, cool. Um, I'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow. And I hope you have a good weekend. Remember, I'm rooting for you. And I love your hair.